No, they didn't give me any notes. They, they called me, they checked my availability, they sent me the script. Uh, they told me that we were going to reshape the mythology and, and would I like to come out and play. And, uh, and that they would love me to come out and play. So I, I was just thrilled to be invited. Oh, well, first of all, I don't feel like it would have been a legitimate Final Destination film without him. I mean, you know, the fans love that character, and they love, they love, they love him, and, uh, and like, I, you know, that's huge for us. You know, it's important. It's, they kind of demanded that. 100%, yeah. And, um, you know, as from an actor's point of view, Tony's great to work off of because he gives you so much, and that he embodies that character in a way that is really... It's very um, intimidating. You know, the information is direct, and it's true, and it's very heavy. And so as, as you have to take this from someone, especially, you know, he has the presence of someone that's bigger than everybody else on set. And so um, he, he delivers in a way that embodies what he looks like. So it's great, man. I mean, when he came on set, it kind of like, everybody was like, oh, okay, right. We're this is why we're freaked out. Like, this yeah. guy talked to us about something and got us freaked. Well, okay, the, the audition process for me was, was very quick. I, I was cast very late in the process, so I had one audition, I went into Meet New Line. Everyone was already up in Vancouver. Um, and then, like, the next day I flew out for three months. But um, when I got to Vancouver, Stephen did. He took us all separately to dinner and, and talked to us about our, you know, our perception of the character and what he's thinking to do. And he talked about the 3D cameras and what that was really going to be like because he has this girth of knowledge about 3D. You know, he helped develop it on Avatar. And, um, and so, so yeah, it, it became a very collaborative experience, back and forth. Um, well, I was excited, you know, for the pedigree that he came from. I mean, I was very intrigued. The way they spoke about him was really highly, and um, and and then you meet him and you can see the preparation. I mean, he he has, you know, in in a positive way, an obsession with with preparing for as much of, of the possibilities that can happen on a day, which is so important for a highly technical shoot. Um, and, and I think uh, in that way we felt very, very much in good hands. In working with him as an actor, you know, it's that great fun thing. You know, you, you take a little bit of time to learn. This was, he had freely admitted, like, this is my first time helming this all myself. Um, I'm still a young actor, so I'm still learning as I go. And we you would develop a dialogue with each other and, and it was something I felt really comfortable with because uh, we worked together almost every day for three months. Kind of. My parents did actually. Really? I, felt, I can't believe they did That's it, but they did. Fantastic. I mean, I love that. Knowing you were cast, they did? Uh, yeah, when, the, when they knew I was cast, they went, went for all of them and they were just like, this, this is ter terrifying. Uh, but they did it all in one day. This. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I did, I did, but not all in one day. Yeah, I need to take it in small doses. I had seen the first one and I loved it, but then I had to, to watch the other ones kind of weekly. Uh, well, my favorite death scene is the one in Final Destination 2 where the guy gets sliced up by the barbed wire. I just, I love it because it's the shock of Final Destination, and I love it because it's like the kind of imaginative gore, three different segments of a guy falling off. I, I, I really like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you guys well, want to go down the favorite, line. My favorite death is um, probably the tanning booth, um, just because I've never actually been in a tanning booth, but it, it looks terrifying just in general. So when they, came that, when they had that come out, I was like, oh, yeah, nope, never going to get a tan. It's just awful. And for yeah. me, the uh, woman being hit by the bus in the first one, I thought it was so sudden. For me, it was the first time I said, okay, that's Final Destination. Um, they're just really appreciative. Uh, the good thing about working in movies, not just horror anyway, there's a great unifier. So, there, you know, all kinds of people watch all kinds of things. So if any, I'm sort of an ambassador being an African-American man. I can, like, talk to someone who I wouldn't normally speak to or wouldn't normally speak to me. So that's when I know that art can transcend and uh, it becomes a good thing.
I mean, call me what you will. Um, I mean, if you're going to call me queen, I ain't going to kick you out of the room. Right, right? Yeah, I mean, I've been incredibly lucky and blessed. And um, one of the, the most amazing things about the horror, fran er, the horror genre are the fans. And they're very loyal fans. And they're, they're, they're so vibrant. Like, they just, they really, they get their voice out there and, and, and they support 100%. So that's been wonderful. But I, but I am kind of in the beginning of my career, so I hope to, you know, be a queen in another way, not just a scream queen, but, you know, be able to do, uh, play a queen, and to do a, just the gamut of roles, because that's really ultimately why I became an actress. I didn't become an actress just to be in one genre. Um, I've been very lucky in the genre, but, yeah, it'd be nice to play them all. I think... Uh, that's a good question. Um, I think that, boy, you know, what's great is, is that you have to go through a lot of emotions. You know, um, it's, uh, for, it, for me in particular, you know, I got to, I got to run the gamut. I get to have, um, I've, I've done a lot of romantic comedy stuff before. I get to have that here with her and some small scenes where we get to, you know, try and hold on to each other and have, a, you know, that, that romantic relationship. But I think you learn... In this, I can just speak about this particular film. I, I learned about the action sequence. I learned about shooting with green screen. Learned about massive sets, and I learned about um, sustaining energy that you need over an extended period of, of shooting to match the energy that's necessary to, to bring it for a movie like Final Destination. So I think that it's a great training, and it, it inundates you with that stuff. 